due to the vast imagery of penises and boobies and generally the nude human body, this video has been rated Mode L, which stands for Most Unorthodox Display of Erotic Art and Language. Due to this debauchery, viewer discretion is advised. If you are not bothered by this visual unchastity, please do enjoy. But well, we still have the one other thing to do. We still have to find that woman, that mystery woman who told us to kill his, um, kill, kill his, kill her husband. Although Larry thinks that he is going to boink her. But still. Um... Let's go to the purser's deck. Maybe he can desk. He maybe he can help us. No, he cannot help us. Or maybe. Nice, silky. But I shan't accept gifts from you. It wasn't a gift. I was a. <laughs> okay. Never mind. See you around. And it's uh, usually when people say "see you around," it usually means that this is "see you later" or "goodbye" or "bon voyage" or whatever you want to say. So how are we supposed to find out the um... It wasn't an option on the um, conversation list. Huh, let's see, how do we find out about her? There's always other, right. But I don't know what to ask. She never got told her told, told us her name. Okay. We never find out we never found out her name. And it says A S This lacy a -B? Silk handkerchief embroidered with the initials A B emits a faint Hmm. Well let's ask about a, B... No. No, I don't... Stop it. A, B? I don't think you're supposed to know about that. Um... Initials. If you have to ask, then you don't need to know. Oh, you're helpful. Screw okay. you. And just... How am I supposed to find out? <laughs> Let's think. Where could we find out about a woman called A.B.? And how's our score going? Oh yeah, we're tied up with Don. Hopefully he doesn't win anything. <laughs> All these other people are eliminated from the competition. They're gone. They don't stand a chance anymore. I think the purser is the only one who could tell us who she is, but I don't know what to ask. I guess I could do the bowling, but it might go into the end game if I do it. I'm not too sure. If it starts to go into the end game, I'm gonna reload the game. So let's try this. Let's see what happens. Mm. Let's see what happens. Because I really am not sure about this. Come on. Come come on. Come on. There. And then we use the treat it. You Thank carefully you. wipe off all traces of walrus from your ball. And now we play.
Hmm. Oh, what a wuss. Oh, screw you. Huh. There was something we needed to do with the bowling bins, actually. Now that I think about it, it wasn't just the uh, bowling ball. It's also this. Just not sure what the worst that I needed to do. Mark has just finished with a record high score in the nude curling competition. Didn't he win that already a long time ago? The PMS bounce. Rube go. Hmm. Hmm. Damn it. Was it really that simple? Just deodorant? In this game, you may not want. Yeah, I know I don't need to use the. Um, oh, wait. Wait. The hatch. This door provides access to the thousands of bowling pins the PMS Bouncy goes through every day. I think I'm supposed to use the deodorant on the bowling pins. It is unlocked. But what would you do inside a hopper full of bowling pins? Yeah, Becky told about her accident with KY and deodorant combination. Yep. You made it make oh, the uh, egg. You slyly open the hopper door and spray the entire can of deodorant all over the bowling pins. Yeah. You make the bowling pins explode with the combination. That is how you win. So let's try this again. And hope that we don't go into the end of the game. Because if we do, uh, hmm. It wouldn't be too good if that, if that happens. Because we would miss on mm. points and some other things. <laughs> I'm sure things will happen, alright. Good things. Has got to do it. I'm sure it will. <laughs> strike after strike. <laughs> nice dance moves there, Larry. And so we win. Is there gonna be the other announcement that we have won the game? I mean, even if you look at our scorecard now... We've done everything! We are the winners! Of the competition. We are the winners. As if there's many... Larrys. Still, we need to find out who this woman is. <sighs> Really need to find out how to find out her name. I really don't know how to find the name of the phone. There's nothing in the heaving ho, it's just a restaurant. Hmm. I'm gonna look up a hint. We've already checked the back door. That was that is the. Uh, I can go back in. Oh yeah, it's this place. This was the blind uh, taste room. 
The remains of the chocolate mousse form a small sticky pile in the center of the table. I guess the place smells like a chocolate mousse. This entire room smells of chocolate. Mm. Can we lick this? Put that tongue away. Oh, come on. It's freaking... It's goddamn chocolate. You'd better watch out, Larry. Eat too much chocolate and you'll have to work out in your next game. Like you did in Leisure Suit Larry 3, Passionate Patty in Pursuit of the Pulsating Pectorals. Um, wherever software walks and money talks. Uh -huh. Yeah, we would be, you know. So yeah, th this is the place we saw them at, right? Then she came to our room to talk, and we did that. It's gotta be something out here. I think Greywall is right. It's gotta be something out here. So let's look. Aha! There's a sheaf of folded papers here. There it is. I went to the right chair because I saw something. And also it smells like her handkerchief apparently. So that's gotta be... Gotta be it. Life insurance policy. This life insurance policy in the amount of one billion dollars is on one Aristotle K. Boning with the beneficiary listed as Annette B. Boning. It emits a very faint smell. Annette B. Boning. Ew. We don't want to think about her boning, that old guy. I'm interested in boning. <laughs> I'm your boy. The wrong no, 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 phrase. No, 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 no. I mean, I want to find out about a passenger named Boning. Nice recovery. Damn. I never give out information to the public, even boning one. Well, uh, hmm. Okay. And I've got an idea. There it is. Uh huh. Thank you. Well, that's gonna have to wait because we need to do something first. As in, do some boning. Earther's death. What do you want? Yes. May I please have the boning cabin? Connecting. Hello. Are you boning? We were, till this damn phone rang. Ew. Ew. Earther's desk, now what? May I please have the boning cabin? Connecting. Hello? Hello? May I speak with the lady of the cabin? Look, Sonny, you either stop calling, or I'll have your ass thrown overboard. Well, you don't know what our ass is, so... The white courtesy zones are loading and unloading only. Is that really all you want you to say? I mean, seriously, that's what you always be saying. I'm a little worried about the charges on my account. Could you check my balance for me? Of course. Wait here, I'll be right back. Sure. Purser Peter places port... Good idea. Go oil? You go yeah, oil. That's real helpful. What in the hell good does that do me? Larry, the phone's upside down. And your point is? 71009. The boning's phone number is 71009. I knew that. The 7 indicates a guest room on this ship. 1009 is their room number. Huh. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, that, that could be helpful. At least the narrator is helpful, in many ways. Well, let's get out of here. 
before the narrator comes back. So, this is the place we need to go. So, all of this space down here and all the space down here, these are areas for cabins? Holy hell, this ship is huge! Do mean huge! So oh, we go there. Late that evening. Those are some statues, all right. Dapper gentlemen holding up maids. The maids are rather fetching, but those guys remind you of the bullies who used to kick sand in your face at the beach. What do you mean, used to? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. He's de Larry is definitely the kind of guy who still gets kicked in the face with sand at a beach. First we were bowling, now we're boning. Sort of, kind of. A tasteful gold nameplate above the button says, Boning. They're really... Uh... It appears Annette has left her door unlocked. For you. Alrighty, now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, getting to kill an old man. Yeah, better prepare yourself for action. Because I got a bad feeling about this. I don't think things are gonna go as uh, well as we think they will. They will. It's pretty damn dark here. There's not a lot of light in here. But there appears to be one absolutely luscious body lying there on the bed, in the darkness, waiting for you. I really do have a bad feeling about this. Your attention, please. Shh. Larry Lapper, overall winner of this week's Thighs Bad Shut up. Captain Fry would like to meet you personally. In her cabin. We're sneaking, so shut up, the announcer. Big and oblong and wooden. Hard to say. Could be a packing crate. Could be a coffin. How about we... feel? It feels like a bed. How about we smell? It smells faintly of gardenias with hints of rose water and intrigue. Ooh. Climb in. Okay, baby. This is it. You go, Larry. But I'm sure you're gonna be disappointed. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is so wrong. I'm sure you guys can guess what's going on here. What? Uh, Annette? What? Larry, what are you doing? You weren't supposed to kill him yet. I... Uh, I thought you were... Safely asleep next door? Yes. It's all becoming clear to me now. A heart attack. No evidence. Very neat. But now I'm the Patsy. Jeez, the old guy's one sound sleeper. Yeah. Hey, maybe we should go to your room and let this old geezer rest in peace, huh? Dude. Oh, I think this is exactly where you want to be. Dude, you're. Oh, this no. is dark. She thinks I'm a homosexual. Well, you. No, no, it's not like that at all. Drop the dumb act, pal. You had this planned all along. Um. Nope. The shoe drop. What's his game? Annette? His you game is Leisure Suit Larry Love for Sale. Sexual. Oh yeah, I do think, you cold-hearted bastard. I guess we'll do it your way. Let's get this stuff out of here. Hey, my clothes! Yet again, they go away somehow. Does he want evidence lying around? I think you'd better leave now, before you help me even more. Um... Yeah. Just leave, Larry. Uh, hell, Escape. Don't care anymore. Let him come. Take a look. Take a gander. See what you want. Oh, two for a nickel. 
Um, I, I, Mommy, why is that funny man wearing a diaper? I thought there weren't any children on board. And now there was a kid there. Methinks they made a conundrum without knowing it. Or a, uh, whatchamacallit. You know, a, uh, a, uh, damn it. Paradox. That's what I was thinking of. Uh. It wasn't me exposing myself, that was Larry. But what I was thinking about was, you know, a paradox, because they just said that there aren't any kids on board, because this game is too dirty for kids, and then suddenly, there's a child. It was, uh, first we had an old man, then a child. Oh, this game is so wrong in so many levels. But we're gonna go back to here. We still need to give the, uh... Still need to give the insurance policy to Annette. But first we do the Easter egg, which is... Is there a guy statue at the left? This here. Checking out the old competition again? Yeah, what? even if it's on dummy. No, I was just, um... Admiring the workmanship. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your attention, yeah, Larry I know. Larry Shut Larry up. Overall winner of this week's Thighs Bad Trophy, Captain Thigh would like to meet you personally in her cabin. Now we'll get there. Shut up. If that's what you're looking for, Larry, you bought the wrong game. Well, what we do here is on the bulge, other, and unzip. You just love to touch, touch, touch. Now we got the Easter egg going. So now we push the doorbell. Well, Annette is definitely having fun with her money. Wow. A short scene, but a yes. scene enough. Oh, it's you. Oh, Hello. Oh, it's good to see you again. I'm sure it is. Um, well, I was just kind of wondering if there's any way I could get you in bed. <laughs> if we could, um, talk. I'm not sure what we have to talk about. I haven't seen your old friend around lately. Is everything okay? Yes. Everything's fine. Here it comes. I hope he's having a nice rest. Gosh, does she have a great body or what? Talk about next oh, messages. He's resting comfortably. So it's blackmail. So, uh, baby, what's your sign? Octagonal. Huh? <laughs> As in, stop. Huh. That made sense. You know, um, about the other night, um, well, I just wanted to, um, convince you I'm not gay. <laughs> Personally. Look, you did what you had to do, but I don't want to talk about it, okay? Okay. But I, well, um, all right. Well, we are here to do this, to give her the, uh, life insurance policy. I have something I believe you want. Oh, that damn insurance policy. Now it's gonna cost me big time. Why, yes. I believe that is mine. In Larry's mind, it's Thank gonna be you for sex. Turning it. Not money. Um, I was thinking, you know, um, well, for something as special as this, don't you think, well, you know, a little extra thanks would be in order? <laughs> like sex? Yep, told you. Oh. I don't think I have anything you'd want. Oh, I think you have plenty of what I want. And she thinks it's money. Think. How am I gonna get rid of this schmuck? Sleep with him already! I just don't know. Read his signals! Well, what do you say I come inside? He wants to bite you. Your vault. All right, Larry. I know what you want. 
And if I give it to no, you, you don't know. see you again. You understand? No more. That's it. We're through, Capiche? Capiche. She wants me to have sex right now, and she doesn't want me to call her later. Oh, it's a dream come true. Yeah, for you, You're definitely. You're my mind, sweet cakes. Uh, okay. Wait right here. Man. So how much money? Gotta jump through hoops just to get this chick in bed. You're not gonna sleep with her. Trust me. She's just gonna give you a lot of money. I don't keep much cash around, but this is worth a lot more than you deserve. Now I am scray. Skedaddle. Ta-ta. Huh? Ciao. What's this? Half a billion dollars worth of stock? Oh, but I wanted to get laid. Yeah, we know. Laffer, get your ass up to Captain Fry's cabin. <laughs> well, they're mad that we haven't gone there yet. And also, I'm not sure if we're gonna get the, the 1,000 points that we need. If we want the final... The final, 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 final Easter egg. We really need to get 1,000 points. We're not gonna get the um, super secret uh, hyper diaper Easter egg ending. Oh, such is life. Well, let's go and end the game then. There's nothing else to do. So, open Captain's Cabin Room and end the game. It's locked. Maybe if you knocked? Well, let's knock then. Where's knock? There it is. Okay, Captain. Prepare to meet your new master. Well, not really a master, but a winner. Popeye? Was that you? God, least... man. What happened to you? I'm Come. last week's winner. Or what's left of me. Wow. Don't go in there. Are you sure you want to continue, Larry? Yes, because uh, it's the end of the I game. I made it this far. I'm not quitting now. <laughs> well, the captain might have met her match. After all, Larry is a uh, sex hungry beast, so to speak. <laughs> You're gonna go hunting for wabbits? With your magic spear. Kill the wabbit. Yeah. They went there. Oh. Oh. Well, what do you expect? You're not a very good There's looking been man. Some terrible error. I was told the winner of my competition was one Larry Laffer. That's oh. your man. That's me already. Uh-huh. I am so excited about winning the free cruise and spending a week with a beautiful babe like you. Why, there must be some mistake. Uh, no, that was never part of the offer. I, I thought, you know, your cabin, a week of and me and... Oh. Imagine seeing this on Cartoon Network and kids be like, the fuck is this? <laughs> Yeah, the rendering on the animations and the um, FMVs are horrible with those scan lights and everything. But back in the day, you remember all the CD games were like that. Whenever there was an FMV, it had those horrible scan lines. Many of the games had that. So, you pretty much get used to it after a while. Not really. They're annoying. But I won the contest, fair and... <clears throat> Well, I won the contest. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, the cruise part is no problem. I'm sure your room is available next week. But... And I know that the winner is supposed to spend a week with me, but I'm filled with ennui. Ennui? What do you mean, ennui? Ennui. Oh, it's difficult to explain. Just say ennui. to him... Noun. Ah, thank you. Listlessness and dissatisfaction resulting from lack of interest, boredom. Uh -huh. French, from the old French ennuyé, 
to annoy, to bore, from the vulgar Latin. To quote John Barth, the servants relieved their ennui with gambling and gossip about their masters. Huh. Who the hell is that? The narrator. I know, but I hear him all the time. <laughs> nice, uh, breaking the fourth wall? Nah, that's not breaking the fourth wall. He's a character in the game, after all. Larry talks to him all the time. So now we know it's not just a voice in Larry's head. He actually is a voice that people can hear. But how can you change the rules now? Yeah. I thought I'd won the game. You did? After seeing you, Larry Laffer, suddenly I expect something more. And besides, I always say a man should give before he gets. So what do you really want out of life, Captain? Oh, I don't know. The cruise game just isn't what it used to be. Once, everything was tinsel and glamour, jet-setters and high rollers, playboys and loose sex, you know? And now, Richard Simmons and Kathy Lee. Ew. Besides, this was never my idea of a career. I want to return to my previous occupation. Richard oh, Simmons and Kathy Lee. Super tanker, Ew. Captain. Uh, really? Oh, yes. Huh? I'd do anything to put some real mass under me again. Uh -huh. I just can't understand why I lost that gig on the Boning Valdez, just because we happen to run aground. Oh, like it's my fault Hazleton would rather spend the night in my cabin instead of on that drafty old bridge. Yeah, not really our fault, because you're a good-looking woman. But it is your fault because you were the captain and you decided to go into the cabin with another person. Yeah. So it was your fault, idiot. Don't you get tired of spending every week with a new man, learning his fancies, his desires, his sensitivities, his erogenous zones, learning to please him? Perhaps I don't understand the question. What exactly are you trying to say? Yeah, what are you trying to say, Larry? Pick up line, of course. So, uh, what do you say? A little game of drop the anchor? You and me? Hike the stern, sausage? Hug and tanker? God, Larry, you're pathetic. How'd you ever get past the Love Master 2000? Cheat? Was that a no? Well, he pretty much did cheat. Captain Thigh is beautiful, spoiled, and... Oversexed. Yeah, it's like I died and went to heaven. Well, the only thing we can do is give her or show her the certificate that we have. That we have a lot of money. So we can buy that super tanker for her. You know, Cappy, I just might be the boy who makes your dreams come true. Oh, this is doubtful. 18 Extremely points. Extremely doubtful. What would you say if I told you I recently came into a significant position in a major shipping line? I'd say we were both dreaming. Well, dream no more, sweet cakes. Let me whip this out. God, how crude. Yep, crude it is. Crude oil shipping. Well, I'll be damned. Does this say what I think it says? That you're... Nothing less than the proud new majority shareholder of Bone Code Transportation. Only the number one crude oil shipper in all the world. This changes everything. Sure does. But operating the world's largest fleet of super tankers is so demanding. The environmental groups, the regulators, the constant turnover when captains strike major continents. Yeah. Turnover can be a good thing. I guess so. Well, I am looking for someone to fill a position directly under me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, Larry. Ooh. Although I just love opera, how about we listen to some of my music? Yeah, much better. Thank you. Oh, baby. You're the greatest. This has it's a celebration. Be the best night of my life. Put on these handcuffs, Laffer. It's definitely good times for Larry there. Let's celebrate. There's a party going on right here. I'm mad that got loud. And that was it. Leisure suit, Larry's love for sale. All done. 
too bad I missed a lot on a lot of points. I don't know how I missed on so many points, but I did. There would have been a secret ending here. If we had all the all 1,000 points. We did fight all the dildos, we did all the easter eggs. It would have been the last easter egg happening right here, right at the... Uh, end credits here, after the end credits. It would have been... It would have been some aliens invading from outer space and it would have been Captain Thigh naked. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I guess I missed on very random things that you should do in the game to get points. There's a lot of random things that you do in the game that you will get points like, you know, uh, sniffing uh, something or touching something, feeling something in some room, some occasion. Do all that and you will get random one or two points. But yeah, that's the game. Very silly, very sexy, very funny. Always love this game for, well, those three reasons. Silly, funny, sexy. I'm not sure if you could say that it's best in the series, but it is uh, up there in the top three. Definitely. And they definitely went all out with the sexiness in this one, and that's uh, a bonus for it, you have to say. And also, all the groovy music. Yeah. Gotta enjoy that. This game was definitely an improvement compared to Larry 5 and 6. Those games were just stupid, but this one... A lot smarter in and sillier in its jokes. No, oh, hey, there is the Easter egg. Aha! <laughs> Coming in 1998, explores your your anus. Or is only 982 out of 1,000s available. 1,000s. Yeah. Yeah. I know. The Easter egg didn't happen because uh, there would have been a flash of uh, Captain Thigh's boobs. That's all. <laughs>